Hello, folks, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft the Hard Way. I'm your host, Kieran Dave, creator of the Resident Rise mod pack, and over there is our resident friendly witch in Resident's Resident Evil lying in Bedmon. Hello. How are you doing today, lying? Well, I'd be much better off if it would stop raining. Uh, well, you know, I, I kind of like the rain now. I used to be that I couldn't go out in it at all. And, yes, uh, I remember that. Yeah, and then it was fine. Um, I'm, I don't know what's wrong with my hands, though. They look a little... Uh, I think everything's falling apart. Do you know when Sue's going to get back? Oh, I, I'm sure her business will be, will be concluded shortly. Are you sure? Because I, I, mean, I, I miss her. Like, I haven't seen her in a long time. I wanted to show her all the cool things I've been working on. And what cool things have you been working on? Well, look at this armor. Look at this armor that I'm wearing. This is, this is what they call the Kami armor. It's the pinnacle, as far as I can tell, of techno magic. Right. I, I would call it more of a fashion disaster, but then again... Well, I mean, eh, what are you talking about? It's a golden robe. It's a robe of kings, and kings, lying, can wear whatever they want. Including nothing, until the small child tells them of boys. Well, I'm pretty sure that I'm not nude, because you would be a lot more disturbed if I was right here in nude. I've seen writings to suggest of boys, but yes. Oh, boy, what are you reading? Uh, but, you know, um, I'm all, I'm all set up. I'm also gone and actually finished the set of Kami stuff. Um, the Ender Boots I'll use in some cases, they're useful for specific things. But the funniest thing now is whenever I fly around, if it gets dark, I leave little, little stars around. Are you just throwing Ender Pearls? Maybe. Is that just how you move now? On occasion. Although uh, it would seem that Ender Pearls pass right through this magic tree. Uh, yeah, they actually go through a lot of things. You know, they can use them to get through, uh, lots of stuff, but you can't use them to get through ordered blocks. Do you know that? Well, I have better ways for that. Oh, really? I'm curious. Oh, I don't think there's anything you need to concern yourself with. <sighs> you don't have anything to be afraid of, after all, mm. Mr. King. You're right. You're right. You're my good friend. Uh, I do hope that Sue gets back soon, because she's going to be really cross. I, I think... I think, I think maybe I need her help. Like, my vision keeps changing. It's strange. I mean, I, I, it's changing nice. Changing how? Well, I can just, I can keep seeing more than I could before. And sometimes I feel strange. Like, just... Sometimes. Uh, uh, yeah, like, earlier, I, I don't know, I, I blew up a, a Lich's Tower. I don't really remember why. It felt good. Anyways, I was wondering if maybe you could help me out with something today? Because it's a little bit of work. Oh? Yeah, down here. So you can see I, I've managed to make my uh, altar here, my Thumbcraft altar work. This is, it's been quite the difficult proposition. And you can see I have many, many, many containers here full of interesting stuff. Um, that the heads been... are a bit disorganized. Well, that's, the, that's exactly what I want to correct. I didn't have a lot of room here. I've just kind of been making do with what I got. Um, but I've made another room over in here, off to the left of my enchanting area. I actually cribbed a little bit of your style, if you want to come in and see. Oh. Yeah, you can ah, see. Oh, yeah. see. Um, I'd like to basically make this the primary alchemy room. I think it's pretty doable. Uh, but, um, I need to make some more alchemy golems. But, uh, I thought maybe we could actually start moving the jars over, and I could start putting down some new toys I've got. And I've got to wire power into this room, interestingly enough. Um, so I'm going to put one furnace over, a chemical furnace over here, one over here, and one right here, right? I see, forming some form of triangle. Yes, and then the back walls, I think, will all be, um, uh, Essentia. Are you certain that the golems will be able to reach them all? I think what it will do is make little tunnels up in the walls that they can climb through, because they're actually really good at pathfinding. Sort of a borrower's paradise, then. Yeah. Or, if you will, the termite farm. Uh, well, I mean, they are golems. They're not, they, they don't have feelings, so they're not going to feel that. If you're going to call them termites. I'm, I'm really not naked, by the way. It, I'm aware of Look, this. I'm not naked at all. I have wings on my shirt. Yes, my... very fluffy little wings. Well, It was look. Halloween recently, wasn't it? I think I saw a few like that. Yeah, exactly. It's Halloween. Why are you always so mean to me if you're my friend? I'm not being mean. Do you what? see me being mean? Well, for one, your ears keep twitching. And that usually that they twitch when you lie. No, sometimes they just twitch casually of their own accord. Uh, you're a terrible liar. I'm just gonna put it out there. Ironic, actually. Oh, yes, yes. That's the, the absolute worst liar in the world. 
There you are lying again. Uh, so let's go. So I wanted to show you. Check this out. This is uh, another cool thing I've been working on. Uh, let me just go ahead and pull out. I have a bunch of stuff ready, right? Um, but I have these cool things called galvanized bellows. You ever seen these before? Let me go ahead and I put this not. down. I have not. We'll put down. Um, let me just make sure this is in the right mode. Not going to blow everything up. Something of a hazard when you're home decorating. Yeah. Let's put that right there. Okay. Um, these are bellows. Uh, that will, let's see, I have to actually attach it to it. Boop. Uh, why can't I put this down? Can I just not? There we go. One. And then let's go like over here. I gotta fall down. It's not easy to fall when you're so fast. There we go. And perhaps you should slow down somewhat. I can't. I have to go faster. Uh, okay, there we go. So these things are just like the regular bellows, but they're, they actually take uh, redstone flux and get powered, so I have to run some conduit up to them. Ah. But yeah, they're much, much faster. Pretty cool, huh? Very industrial. Uh, I think that it will help. Two, three... Oh, no, no. Definitely not there. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky to place these. Uh, but I can fly forever. Five. Ah, there you go. You grab one. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and set these up, and we need to run a power line underneath. Um, should be straightforward, I think. Where'd you go? Oh. Behind you. Oh, you're, you can fly too, huh? When did you gain that power? How did you gain that power? Oh, I have my ways. You've gotten stronger too, I can tell. Well, that's good. That's good. It's no fun, if, it's no fun having uh, weak friends. Okay, uh, so why don't I go ahead and reset these, and then we'll lay some conduit. That's never fun to watch, and we'll be right back. All right, I think we got it. Uh, I put down all the panels, we set things up, and um, for some reason, some of my coven seems really unhappy with you. Bianca was trying to poison you. She was shouting something about the central circle and, and, being, and, and you being a traitor? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I voted against her, her proposition last week. Yeah, I can't imagine why anyone from the Central Circle would be angry with you. You're like their representative, right? Celia seems to be quite happy with me. Well, I don't know why she keeps trembling. Um, also, did you really have to pull off Bianca's ears like that? Oh, they'll grow back. They always do. Do witches' ears grow back? Bianca's might. Hmm, okay, well, if you say so. Uh, so th the only thing left, so these now have these galvanized bellows that make things a lot faster. Um, so, like, for example, if I were to grab, I don't know, how about these, what's a good example for me to grab? Um, I'm sure this Diamond Forge saw will cook down to something fun. Um, oh, well, look. How much use for else? Yeah. And now it's got a bunch of stuff in it. Got some things. Um, it doesn't need fuel, so that's super cool. And here I thought that it did, and I was ready to go do something. But it doesn't need fuel. Okay. Yeah. So that's... Would you like to go to hell anyways? Yeah, actually, I have some uses for stuff, so why don't I, I, I can't keep using blood magic forever for everything. There's a couple things that, that I want to do. Um, specifically, uh, I want to go make some uh, firestone because it's really awesome to have that stuff, and also it's great for pranking. So you want to go over to uh, the nether with me and see what we can do? Oh, a visit to hell sounds quite lovely. It's, a, it's definitely going to be warmer than it is here. It's been so cold because of the rain. Well, you oh. know, it is, it is the winter season. Yes. All right, let's just teleport out and go. Let's go back over to that same one we went to before. Oh, very well. Look at so as I fly, I leave these little sprinkles so you can follow me. So you, I noticed well, you weren't using a broom. I, am I not? Oh. Yeah. Are, are are you? Is that is that normal for you? I thought that you had to use a broom. It, I'm using a broom right now. Okay. You saw nothing. I didn't see anything actually. <sighs> but yeah, I'm leaving all these little little sparks in the air, so it should be easy to follow. Oh, yes. Then again, you are basically neon. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, it, it, actually, the neon and the gold isn't so bad together. I think that's actually they're kind of complementary. This place seems a bit more torn up than I remember. Uh, I have been fighting a few more withers. We should fight some withers, it'd be fun. I love fighting withers. Oh... Uh. I imagine they've got some woods. Uh, so check this out. These withers are these uh, pigmen are breaking themselves on me. It's almost as though they're angry at you. I can't imagine why. All right. 
It's nice in here. Let's just keep this on just in case. All right. Um, I think that I am actually not taking any damage from this fire and in fact healing, which is great. Are you okay over there? I'm fine, just some spiders. I just want to make sure to turn off this talisman of remedium or it'll break itself. Well, I'm sure you have some way to fix it. Uh, I do. All right, so all we have to do is basically just go find some cut firestone, right? Yes, there should be some in a lava lake. Gassed. I'm immune to gas projectiles now. It's kind of fun. Uh, you know, I have a tool that might help out with this. Um, because this is actually going to be kind of annoying just, like, from the visual problems that it's going to give us. Give me one sec, and I may be able to actually pull out something that could be useful to us. Uh, not a block. Do you have in mind? Um, I, I did this a while ago for some other stuff that I was hunting. Uh, Phantom Bridge, no. Whirlwind, no. Here we are. Sigil of the Dome. Have you ever seen this magical effect? I have not. Pretty cool, huh? Slightly more warning might have been nice, but yes. Well, you're fine. Why are you not wearing any armor at all? Well, you know, it's not good to get lava, to get lava on your clothing. I thought you had a bloodied onesie just for this effect. All right, so all we have to do now is find some cut firestone. Or some firestone to cut. And then we will be fire starters, which actually could be really fun. I feel like that would be a really funny prank, is just to have that pop out at someone's base. Just to randomly place it. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Could teleport it as well. Uh, so I mean, we're not having much luck here, are we? No, nothing so far. I mean, there's here's some sunstone. That spawns on the surface, and that's super easy. Um, maybe the larger lava lake over this way will be better. Mayhaps, indeed. Are you, can you not fly without your armor? I thought that it was, like, your body. I can fly quite happily with a broom. And you lack can... of ground beneath me. Well, that's fine. But yeah, what this is... What does they say about flying? There's one, there's one. Style? Yeah, it is flying with style. Look, here's one. That was another over here. Oh, awesome. You got him? So, we all... Uh, let's I each... think you have it. Uh, I might. Nope. Uh, yeah, I do. You want? Do you want one of these, too? Will this be useful for you? I do not require much issue in fueling things at this point. Oh, what are you using for fuel these days? Power. Oh, I see, but like, are you, what you mean, are you using a reactor or what? Copper coils, run electric charge through them, they generate heat. Oh, very modern. Really? Wow, that sounds exciting. I would love to come see it sometime. Have you ever thought of helping to modernize the Central Circle's place? I haven't been yet, but I've heard that it's, it's a kind of an old-fashioned place and they were looking to modernize. Oh, it's very old-fashioned. Yeah, very stuffy in their ways. It's difficult to find, though. Every time I go looking for it, I get lost. Well, it's not in the most obvious of locations. All right. Why don't we head back? Because I have, like, three pieces of firestone, which is probably enough. Are you... I'm fine. I can swim. I mean, so slowly, though. Well, there's only so much you can do for lava. I saw you flying without a broom. Are you sure you can't fly? Is that like a property of your armor or something? I've never heard of it. Where'd you go? I don't hear you burning anymore. I'm not sure where I am anymore. <laughs> Did that you... enderpearl went a bit crazy. Well, that's part of the fun. Uh, I, I love... Know, wow, I so there's just fire. So I'm holding three firestone, and I am a fire starter. This is nuts. There's fire Twisted everywhere. Fire starter? It really, really is. Like, this is crazy. There's just fire everywhere. There really is a lot of fire. It's actually kind of fun. Like, if, this, if my base weren't made of wood, this would be a really fun thing to have. Given the fact that fire heals me, it does make me sort of invincible. Invincible, you say? Well, I mean, I heal a full heart for every t every tick of fire damage. So, in addition to my inability to die, a lot of other crazy things occur. It's just, it's just like permanent high-speed regeneration. Okay, apparently I'm at level 117, and I don't know how that happened. That's a long drop. You got what you want! You got what you know!
Hello. <laughs> I'm going to do that. That was amazing. Thanks. <laughs>